Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to ASM Live at ASM Microbe 2017. I'm Jason Rayo, the Senior Director for Innovation and Member Engagement at the American Society for Microbiology, and I'm sitting here with Emma Muir, an Innovation Specialist at ASM, and we're really excited to talk to you about ASM's new venture, its new site, micronow.org. So we're sitting up here in the super innovated space on the floor of ASM Microbe in the exhibit hall. Um, it's, it's great. Um, and we thought we'd walk you through the site. Uh, it's new, and it was just launched this weekend uh, as part of ASM Microbe 2017. Um, the vision for ASM uh, Microbe, and the, the vision rather for MicroNow, is to help aggregate and curate the volume of science that's out there. So it's going to be really a one-stop shop for people that are interested in the microbial sciences. So, the vision is to really bring um, the best of the science to you uh, as quickly as possible in a curated and aggregated way. So Emma and I are going to walk you through the site. Emma? Sure. So we're going to start with our home page. And so what is the home page? The home page shows you an overview of what MicroNow offers. So we start with our featured section, which are featured content pieces from multiple pages on the site. And then we go down to our daily brief, which, which offers daily policy news. And then we go into our communities, and then other featured content. So then we'll go into the community pages, which Jason will um, now explain. Yeah, so the landing page is great, as Emma described, because it's essentially select articles from each one of the domains that MicroNow has to offer. So if we go a little deeper, one of the key features about MicroNow is the communities. So the pilot community, the very first community we chose, is around the microbiome. We thought this was a perfect topic because the microbiome is so vast and includes such a diversity of science. So what we've done here is tapped some of our most prominent ASM members and thought leaders in the field as experts. You see here Alan Landay, Jack Gilbert, Nicole Dublier. Each one has signed up to be an expert contributor to MicroNow. In addition, we have contributors um, that are earlier on in their careers, full of energy, and already doing some curation of their own. So they've uh, populated the early uh, stages of our site, and you can see that content here. So if you're interested in the microbiome, this is a great place to stop, because essentially you've got experts in the field pulling up the most relevant content for you. And in addition, if you click on one of those, sure. you, can con you can comment. So not only will you see what Nicole, Nicole Dublier might think is a really important article for you to read, but you can scroll down to the bottom and start a conversation on it as well. So let's back out of there and take you to our second community. And that was a community that we opened specifically for the ASM Microbe 2017 conference. This is super cool. So one of the things we're doing at the conference is to run a game. And that's all the conference participants who sign up for MicroNow are assigned to a team, a team of researchers that are using one of our hypothetical antibiotics to attack a specific pathogen. So tell them, what, what's the name of the bug? Sure, so our bacteria is called Nolococcus miniatus, and all the antibiotics are named after different things happening in New Orleans, from foods to places to see to specific New Orleans drinks. So, I'm on team Sazerac Ozone, which is a popular drink that was created here in New Orleans. I, it's also delicious. And they're winning right now. We are winning. <laughs> um, all right, so let's scroll down. Um, so people that are, are doing the game are helping to contribute, but the way you contribute is to just use the site. And this is a particularly useful community because you can see here we have Eat, Drink, See in New Orleans. We also have the exhibit hall floor plan. You have some cool talks that are going on. There's some pieces about our opening session. And then we have highlighted sessions that were hand-selected in advance of the conference, and then commentary from some of the session leaders and authors. So really cool inside uh, conversations happening um, about the content and, and the science that's, that's going on at the meeting. So for those of you that aren't at the meeting and perhaps watching this somewhere else, this is a great way to sort of feel like you're at the meeting and even participate in it, and even dialogue with some of the people that are, that are giving presentations today. So if we back back out, so those are our communities. I think the last thing we should say about the communities is our third community that we're setting off uh, over the summer and in the fall will be on biothreats. This is a new venture for ASM. It's uh, a revamped um, 
meeting um, around our biodefense work and uh, promises to be, I think, one of the most robust communities that we'll have on MicroNow. Um, but, you know, if you're interested in a different community of science, let us know. This is what this, this has really been created for, is to have a platform for lots of different areas of science and communities to come around those areas and, and have conversations. All right, so maybe the, the next thing we can talk about is preprints. Now, if you haven't been watching or keeping up, the preprint revolution is here. And we've uh, connected with BioArchive, uh, the RSS feed from BioArchive, and we're curating that feed to bring the most relevant content to MicroNow. So we have content focused on the microbial sciences curated for you. So if you click on one of those, you can actually see science before it's been published um, and just off the server coming through MicroNow. Um, and this gives you a high-level overview of what that paper is and what it's all about and a link um, to BioArchive so that you can read the entire paper and comment on it. Awesome. So now do we want to show them the, the, the uh, directory? Yeah, that'd be great. Awesome. I think one of the most powerful things about scientific societies is the networking opportunity. But we've often heard that there's not a great digital platform to connect with other members. So we made a special point of building a great member directory on MicroNow. So specifically, if you look here, here's my profile, Jason Rayo. And then if you view my profile, it's got a bio, um, my bio, and I can customize that in any way I want. It's got links to my Twitter and, and other social media accounts. Mm -hmm. But if you scroll down a little bit more, it's got um, my contributions, my written work to MicroNow. And I think this is what makes our directory special. So if you're interested in connecting with other users, you can actually follow them and look at the work that they've produced. And you can, you can see where like-minded folks uh, can connect and um, learn from one another. So I think this is one of the, the best features of the site. Definitely. Go back up to the directory. Let's see sure. about how many users do we have so far. So we have over 1,000 users currently. Wow. Yeah. And it's only been open a day. Only a day. And we have over 50,000 views. 50,000 views? Yeah. That's good. So last but not least, we can look over the science page. I think that's right. Awesome. So right now, a lot of the traffic at MicroNow is naturally being driven to ASM Microbe 2017, the meeting. But when we're not at the meeting, we expect this to be one of the main um, pages that people will visit just to stay up to date on all the science. And so this is a fabulous way to have essentially curated content aggregated for you in one place. We really think this is a place that everyone will want to just stop in at least once or twice a day to see what's hot. Did I forget anything? I think we're good. All right, so I think that's it for now. I think we've covered science, the communities, preprints, the directory. The one thing we didn't highlight is the daily brief, which is our policy section. We all know that right now there's a lot of changing and a lot developing quickly around science and science policy. So our public policy team at ASM headquarters is pulling the most relevant pieces and placing them on our site for all of the MicroNow users to, to see. We love this piece and expect this to change quite a bit as well. We think this is the kind of thing that will grow uh, a lot over time. So with that, I think we'll wrap up our overview of MicroNow. We'll encourage you to become users. How do they become users, Emma? Go to www.micronow.org. Have any questions? How about questions from the audience? What's the sign-up process? Sure. We, could, we could walk them through it. We can it. walk them through the sign-up process. And I'll also look to our friends who are uh, taking any questions online and just let us know if any questions have come in online. Sure. So once you go to micronow.org, you'll have a pop-up screen, and it says you've arrived. So if you have not signed up already, you can easily click register. And you'll input your username, your email, your first name, and your last name. And then you'll get an email. You'll be able to create your password. And then you're easily able to sign up. And depending on your institution, this email may go to your spam folder. So yes. check your spam folder before you give up on us. If you still have problems, just send us a note. All right. Any other questions? Yeah, please. No. You do not. Thank you. That's a great question. You do not have to be an ASM member. and. MicroNow is free, so it's open for all. Any other questions? You, young man in the back in the blue shirt? Nothing yet. It looks really cool. <laughs> oh, he just wanted to tell us it looked great. 
<laughs> the first, okay, so hey, one of, the, one of the great questions just came for the audience. What's the very first thing you should do when you sign up? What do you think? I would say create a profile. Add your photo, create your bio, add your education, let people know who you are and where you came from, and then you can find people who you want to network with. Yeah, I think Emma's absolutely right. This is more than just a place where you go read the news. This is a place where you can actually connect with your community. You can network, you can find a mentor, you can contribute. You can write your own pieces and contribute to the site and that becomes part of your bio. So you really want to have a robust bio that represents your interests. Maybe one thing, if you're curious about how to contribute, you could scroll down and show them that. Sure, so if you haven't created a profile and you just want to look and see where you can contribute, you can easily scroll to the bottom of the home page and click on Contribute to MicroNow. We also have a box right next to Contribute to MicroNow for recommended ideas. So if you have an idea that'll improve the site, we very much want to hear it because this is the very first generation of MicroNow and we expect it'll change a lot. So if you have content that you want to submit to MicroNow, you can easily put in your name, your last name, and your email and submit your content and then it will be sent to us directly. We'll review it and we'll contact you and let you know when it will be submitted. Yeah, so it's a pretty quick turnaround time. We do have a copy editor and an editorial process that ensures scientific integrity, but we really hope to turn these things around as fast as possible. Yes. So look for your content to be published usually within a few hours. Pub publish on micro now. No, that, it's a great question. Is this a place where you'd submit scientific manuscripts? Really not designed for that, but maybe someday. So the question was, does this also provide information about ASM publications and even on ASM itself? Absolutely. We consider this sort of the front porch of the ASM house. So this is open to the community, a place for people to gather, convene, learn more. But of course, we'll provide uh, links into other ASM products and services. So if you want to learn more about the meeting or get a journal or become an ASM member, of course, we'll make that as easy as possible on MicroNow. Anything online, Chris? All right. What's the coolest thing we've seen submitted? You probably know better than That's I would, Emma. That's really hard. Um, there's a lot of really cool things, actually. Um, today, for example, we just posted highlights from the opening session and they were um, originally from ASM and you can look at all Twitter posts from the opening session. So letting see, people see what the users thought about the opening session and talk about ASM Micro. I really thought that was really interesting. No, it, I think it's really innovative too to have all the, the social media in, in one place. It's really cool. I sort of like the pictures of people sending in of their food around New Orleans yes. as well. And we're actually going to start sharing photos from users. So if you guys have photos that you want to share with Micro Now, we would love to post them. Yes. Any photo. One of the things, maybe we should go back to the game and just note that. Sure. So right now, right behind you, you can't see it, but we have this live Petri dish actually up on a huge digital screen. And each one of, there it is. Yeah, each one of the, um, each one of the teams is competing to win. And when does it end? It ends on June 4th at 11 a.m. And all winners will be broadcast at 1 p.m. Are we telling them what the prize is or is that a secret? So the prize is black lab coats. <laughs> Super cool black lab coats that say micro now. It's a hot item. We're really um, excited. But we do see it's been a rivalry between two or three of our antibiotics um, that we're going to keep a close eye on. So if you haven't signed up, when you sign up, you'll be assigned, as we said, one of these antibiotics. And every time you contribute, your team gets points. So sign up. All right, any other questions? I think we're good. Thanks so much for, for watching us on ASM's new live platform at ASM Micro 2017. We want to invite people to come back at 2.15 for the Agar Art, Conversations with the Artists. That should be a great, great live session. Yes. All right. Thank you, Emma. Thank you. We'll see you later. Can we start? They tell you to put your chin right there. <laughs>
became an ASM member in 1981. 95? Um, since 2008. I joined ASM in 1974. I've been an ASM member for 41 years. I think I first became a member in 1989. Seems like all my career. I'm willing to bet it's a decade. My first ASM was 1993. I still have a picture of me holding the program open sitting on the hotel room bed, really excited because for the first time ever I saw my name in print associated with microbiology. When I was a graduate student at Purdue in 1980, it was the thing. I mean, if you were going to be a microbiologist, you joined the ASM. It was just really that simple. ASM is very special to me because I became a member in 2002, and when I first attended the, the meeting at Salt Lake City, Utah, I met my PhD thesis mentor, Dr. Arturo Casadevall, and so ASM kind of introduced me to the PhD world. Definitely the most important thing is that ASM has provided me with a graduate fellowship, so they've helped support me during my graduate training. Um, in addition, I've gotten a lot of networking opportunities and I've met a lot of really great people through ASM. And we can share our work and connect and they can teach me things that I don't know and I can teach them things that they don't know. And just that partnership and working together, that's what scientists do, to share your work. And it's the most exciting thing to learn about new projects. ASM has actually done a whole lot of work and given me the kind of exposure I've not, I wouldn't have had if I'm not a member of ASM. Many brains are better than one. Great thing. It's a really member driven organization. I love that. I've always loved that. Could make the bigger the better, the, the more the merrier. You want to do microbiology? Become a member.